Welcome to Wickerson Studios. Michael Wickerson here. Um, just going to tell everybody to make the investment if you can at twenty dollars a month for GPT four into uh, the GH Python node. If you're interested in making things in Grasshopper, it is text to three D. It's already there. Um, this script was generated without anything, um, just from a prompt. Uh, and all I am is just picking things that are pretty general. And uh, all I've done is thrown this on a quad sphere, which I love, if you know uh, what I love. Uh, that's it with a certain dimension of radii. Uh, and I can bring in a surface and a divisions and you're done. Uh, how did I do it from text? Let me just grab chat GPT-4. There it is. I've been producing things like crazy uh, paneling tools, um, uh, recursive, uh, morph shapes, uh, Mobiuses, uh, lattice works, uh, parametric chairs, parametric floor lamps, Klein bottles, anything from text. This was the easiest one by far. So if I shoot this over here, uh, you could see, um, and I'll run through it and we'll keep it on rotation behind it. Basically, I typed in create a Python script for GH Python node in Grasshopper for Rhino 3D with a Rhino common API and create an amazing parametric paneling pattern. Uh, blah, blah. It talks a little human there for a minute and boom, it wrote it. All you have to do, uh, gave me a little bit more of advice when I was done. Um, you don't have to really worry about anything else. Uh, let me grab that, slam that back up where I'm using it up top so I can see it. Uh, cut and paste that into your GH Python node, which is right here. So you don't need to be seeing that, but if you want to uh, take it off, um, your script is pretty simple. It's pulling out uh, the exact same script and it's producing the pattern of surface. It, it's told me that it kind of gave you the advice inputs for GH Python component. Make sure you have a surface named input um, and connect it to a surface parameter in the GH Python <laughs> node. So you just come down here and you just click surface. And uh, and then uh, Divisions said, said it wanted an integer. So I just went down there and set the name integers and put in that. It's that easy uh, from text. And so now you have this shape that everybody's always asked about. How do I do chain links? How do I do blah, 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 blah. Well, um, this was fun. Um, let me take that off spinning. It is a little baked form. Um, let's put it back in so we can see its parameters as it sets up. Uh, there it is. Um, you don't have to make so many divisions. You could do a lot less. You can make it undulate. You can make it more funky. I'm just throwing it across surfaces and then boom, into my pattern. What a nice paneling tool that's three dimensional. So of course the subdivision curve. And look at how fast it moves. It's moving at uh, 15 milliseconds. Let's take it up insane and see if it crashes at 10, uh, 1.6 seconds, big deal. What a pattern, what a three dimensional pattern for any surface generated from text to 3D model. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure this out. You don't even need to be uh, decoding. You just have to get in and realize that all that wiry clustering stuff you've been doing in Grasshopper is not necessary with something like GPT-4. And if you know anything about me, I've been going from Python, the JH Python, the C Sharp. All you have to do is look at my math tabs here. Um, and what I've played with in scripts, my own scripts. And if you follow me, you'll realize I've made hundreds of uh, C Sharp scripts and Python nodes. You don't need that. It's totally unnecessary. All you really need is GH Python. If you're gonna use tougher libraries, you might wanna use GH Python remote. And the biggest thing that you've got there for you is the hops node. If you wanna jump over to hops and start working in Visual Studio Code, you don't even have to use GPT-4. Well, you can, you can just use it over there. And you're gonna gain a whole bunch of new libraries while you do that. So I really don't know what to say, except this is absolutely insane. I'm gonna take it to a bake. I'm gonna group it. You can see the complexities of this form right there. How wonderful, you know, and I'm afraid to put it into ghosted or artistic because I think it'll take a minute and crash. It always does when I try and move over to those with the subdivision tool. I can wait for it, but I think that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I'm going to stop recording.